So is it possible to get more views by posting less videos? I believe that the answer is yes. In fact, I'll prove it to you. And in this episode of the Think Media Podcast, we're going to be talking about how to stand out as YouTube gets more crowded, why you need to understand the three seasons of content creation and define which season you're in so you know the next moves to make. And also a YouTube secret that I learned from a best-selling author that will make your next video better. But uh, recently, we talked about seven trends. And one of those trends is high-value, high-effort, long-form content. And I want to talk about the problem that we're all facing. I want to give you a challenge for the next 90 days. I'm going to be talking about the three seasons. But when I look back at one of the most successful think media videos of all time. It was a high value, high effort, long form video. In fact, it was a two hour video. You could call it almost like a free masterclass, almost like a free online course. It literally went through how to shoot a video, how to edit the video, how to upload it, how to design the thumbnail and package it all in one super long video. And this was posted back on December 13th, 2019. What's wild is as we speak, it's still getting 15 views every single hour. The video has been viewed 2.8 million times. This singular video has grown the Think Media channel almost 40,000 subscribers. And from YouTube ad revenue, this video has generated $31,871. One singular video. And so I want to encourage you that it is possible that one video could help you reach your next subscriber goal. One video could help you get a thousand subscribers. One video could help you reach 10,000. This singular video grew my channel 40,000 subscribers. But I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, easy for you to say, Sean, you've been doing this for a while. Well, imagine if you just got 10% of those results. Like imagine if you posted one video that got you 4,000 new subscribers. So let's break down a few tips as we talk about this and first address the problem. Here's the problem that you are facing as a content creator. Competition is highest for low effort content. Competition is highest for low effort content. There's a lot of information out there right now that talks about how many active creators there are and how few of them are past 10,000 subscribers, how few of them are past 1,000 subscribers. And, and the stats would tell you 97% of YouTube channels that are creating content aren't making money or not doing very well. But when you dig into the stats, you find that most of them have less than 10 uploads, so they've barely been consistent. You find that when you look at their channels, the titles are terrible. The thumbnails are meaningless. The topics are horrendous. The effort is so low. They just filmed some footage. Here's a pigeon walking around the streets that I'm feeding crackers titled feeding pigeon and they upload it from their phone and it's not even a steady shot. No effort at all has been put into the content. And then those are the types of channels that are being included in, oh, look at the stats of how challenging it could be to succeed on YouTube. Now, I'm not trying to oversimplify YouTube success. It takes effort. It takes skill. But here's the deal. Competition is highest for low effort content. And competition is highest for low quality content. So here's the big idea. Posting fewer videos and posting fewer high quality videos can actually lead to five to 10X more views overall. I wanna challenge you, how do you get more views by posting less videos? Posting fewer high quality videos can actually multiply your views five to 10X overall. And here's the cool thing, you don't have to spend 10 times more time on the video to get 10 times more views. So it's not like, shoot, what are you talking about? Do I got to edit for weeks? Do I got to plan for years? Like, what do you mean by high quality? No, it's not that you actually have to put in 10 times more effort to get 10 times more views. Oftentimes, spending a little extra time can have exponential influence on video performance. So I want to give you a challenge. I want to encourage you to slow down a little bit and spend time making fewer videos better. 
And this could maybe happen over the next month or let's call it the next three months. What if you slowed down a little bit and just invested a little bit more energy in your videos? And here's a concept. 20% better can lead to 10 times more views. So whatever that means for you, 20% more time on research, 20% more time on crafting the title, 20% more time on going back and editing it and tightening it up, asking yourself the question, what can I remove from this video to make it more streamlined, more punchy and higher quality? 20% more effort, not 10 times more effort, just 20% more effort into the video can lead to 10 times more views. And I learned a secret from James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, which is a historic book. It's a wild case study. Millions and millions of copies sold, perennial seller, constantly selling, will sell for years to come. And James Clear, actually, he went from creating massive content, blogging, constantly writing, constantly posting everywhere, which was, we're going to talk about the three seasons. It was actually an important stage in his journey. He was refining his voice. He was writing. But then he took three years three years to write one book. Now, again, you might be like easy for him to say he had, well, you got to go through the seasons. You got to save money or get some momentum. And a lot of times quantity is where you start, but he took three years to write one book. And now that book is absolutely smashing. It's called Atomic Habits. But here's what he says. And I quote, the difference between good and great is often an extra round of revision. The person who looks things over a second time will appear smarter and more talented, but is actually just polishing things a little bit more. Take the time to get it right. Revise it one extra time. What would happen if before you were rushing to like, I got to upload every day, I'm vlogging every day, I'm posting shorts every day, I'm on social media all over the place, I got to get another TikTok out, I got to get three shorts out, I got to post my Instagram today. What if you slowed down, focused on making your videos, your long form YouTube videos, higher quality, and even just invested a little bit of extra time in one revision? A lot of times what I'm seeing is we're in this rush and this haste to post so much volume and quantity that if we would just spend even 20% more time on a revision, improving and polishing, we could get 10 times more views. And so let's land the plane just talking about the three seasons of content creation. And then let me know which one you're in. So season one is actually quantity. Season two is quality. And season three is both. So season one is quantity. So where people struggle is they say, well, Sean, I mean, it's the quality or quantity debate. Which one is it? Well, it depends on what season you're in. So if you're in season one, it's actually about posting as many videos as you can, as you can, in my opinion. But here's the purpose of the season. The purpose is reps. The purpose is practice. The purpose is experimentation, finding your voice, your audience and the viewers of those videos giving you feedback. How do they give you feedback? I don't even just mean comments. You post one topic, it gets 10 views. You post another topic, it gets 275. That's feedback, that that topic resonated more. So you're, you're, you're paying attention, you're listening, and you're building skill sets, and you're making some connections. Maybe you have some people that collab, you interview them, you bring them on the channel. The purpose of season one is quantity, is volume, is doing reps. Here's the dangers of season one. Quitting, giving up too soon impatience and having the wrong mindset of, of getting discouraged and stopping, not understanding the season that you're in. Season one is quantity. It's doing volume. And it's even less about the amount of views and impact. It's more about the personal development and the skills that you're learning. And the goal during season one, which is quantity post a lot is to be consistent and to stay positive is to protect your mindset. And to say, even if this work doesn't seem to be working, it's working on me. All work works. This work is working on me. I'm learning, I'm getting experience, I'm growing. And it's the goal is to be consistent and to stay positive, which brings us to season two. And I wanted to talk about this today on our Think Media podcast, Coffee with Cannell hybrid show, because this is where a lot of our community are. Maybe you're in VRA, you're a Think Media podcast listener, you have been consistent for a while. You've posted a lot of videos. And if you've posted 30, 50, 75, over 100 videos, 
then I would argue season two is what you need to be focusing on. Season one is quantity. Season two is quality. So what's the purpose? Refinement. Now it's slowing down a little bit, looking at everything you've posted, everything that you've done. What are the lessons that you can learn? What are the takeaways? What wisdom have you gained? And how can you actually now start posting less videos, fewer videos that are higher quality and invest more time in them and double down on what's working? You want to apply the wisdom that you've gained from the first season to the second season. And the goal is to achieve more by doing less. This actually has very much been my story. My Sean Cannell channel, which I first posted my first horrible video where I was like, I don't want to be energetic or entertaining. I have no plan. I was actually in the quantity season and I posted hundreds of videos and they were super random. They were like videos of pigeons. I had like a droid X and I was like, there's a pigeon. You know, it's like they were like just ridiculously weird videos, but you can't stay there. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, thinking you're going to get different results. And, and that's what I was, I was posting all kinds of videos. I was experimenting, but that work was working on me, but I had to take a step back. And like the video I just showed you, as I shifted into part-time and full-time YouTube, I started to really focus on high quality, high effort, long form videos that I wanted to rank in search and connect to passive income streams. And the goal was to, again, achieve more by doing less. It wasn't, I vlogged, I remember for maybe 45, 55 days straight, while I had an over 40 hour a week salary job. I was like killing myself to just upload as much as I can. I was exhausted. I would you know, spend time with my wife and then edit all night. And every single day I was like filming and literally a full-time job plus probably working 40, 45, 50 hours at a church, vlogging 55 days in a row. But those 55 days were incredible. They changed me. They helped me practice, learn how to be a faster editor, refine my voice. They didn't really have a lot of like lasting success or generate a lot of money. All work works. They were helpful, but I had to shift into season two. And I feel like this is an important message for our community is you got to refine. And I think in 2024, remember, competition is highest for low effort content and competition is highest for low quality content. A lot of people are going to shoot their video podcast and not prepare. Oh, I don't prepare. I don't research my guests. I don't think about the hook. I don't package it. I just kind of want to go with the flow. I just want to go with like, you know, we'll just see what the flow is. Everyone's just going with the flow, which is lower effort. Like if you have a savant gift, like you're like, I heard, you know, Larry King just goes with the flow. He's freaking Larry King, dude. And I don't think that's true. But you know, like if you haven't been discovered yet and you haven't broken through yet, you got to polish and work on your marketing and your positioning and your packaging and your hooks and all those details. Season two is quality. Refine your craft. Double down on what's working. And, and I'm not saying work 10 times harder. 20% more effort in less videos. And then that can bring you to season three, which by the way, season three is optional. You don't have to go to season three. There's a lot of people who are not going to season three uh, or meaning like Ali Abdal, just thinking about some people that have shared this publicly. He's like, you know, I'm going to make videos when I feel like that's the season he's in. When I feel inspired, I'm going to make fewer videos. So he's not trying to play a volume game. You look at, you know, Vanessa Lau's back and it's congratulations, like super pumped from the different lessons she's learned and whatnot. She was one of our growth video live speakers, which by the way, if you haven't got your tickets to growth video live 2024, grow with video live.com. It's going to be great. But uh, she's said, we'll see what's coming up. She's like, I, I want to focus on more quality and kind of get off the hamster wheel of quantity. But if you also flip to like the Gary Vaynerchuk model, or if you even look at Alex and Layla Hermosi, like they've invested in team and systems and hiring. And how do we just absolutely do both? How do we have high quality and high qu quantity? That's season three. So and season three, you know what to do and you have the resources to do it. And one of the biggest mistakes 99% of creators are making is they're imitating Layla Hermosi, they're imitating Gary Vaynerchuk, they're imitating Alex Hermosi, and they're trying to keep up with an unsustainable pace and posting insane amounts of volume, not just on YouTube, but across platforms. When I don't care if you use AI, you're going to burn out. So if you're not in season three, and the only reason you know you would be there is I would say you're already full time. You have a surplus of cash. You have hired at least a few people. You have at least one video editor 
and you also have systems. It's team and systems and wisdom and skill that brings you to a place where you can do both quantity and quality. You know what to do. You're actually not still wondering if this is going to work. You only know you're in season three when you're like, I'm like Neo, dog. You know, the agents are shooting at me. I'm dodging bullets. This is bullet time. Like, I, I, I know how the algorithm works. Maybe not in every video, but like, I get it. Like, I understand this thing. I'm going to put out banger after banger. I'm going to rank videos daily. I'm going to do this thing. I, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm no ignorance is not bliss. I can see the lines of the matrix. I know what to do. And I also have the resources to pull it off. That's how you know you're in season three. And because of the wisdom and experience you've gained, you're hiring help. You're developing systems and you're now focused on quality and quantity. When Mr. Beast was interviewed on the Joe Rogan show, he talked about his hyper focus on quality over quantity. And he said that he focused on making better videos and talked about how he coached somebody that was getting 2 million views a month. And he got them to like 40 million views a month because of putting a little bit of extra energy into quality. And he talked about how he built a team to handle 80% of the daily activities and business activities that he wasn't a genius at. So he could focus on his unique ability and focus on his craft of putting out a higher volume of quality content. He puts out a lot of content, even though his uploads are, you know, he's got multiple channels, he's got a big business to run, but he's got a big team and systems supporting all of that. And he's got a rigorous pace. In fact, there's a Time Magazine article that just came out that talked kind of about the, the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Mr. Beast enterprise. But what's the big takeaway is there is the ability to continue to put out high volumes of quality and do a high quantity of it, but not without help, not without hiring help and developing systems. And so I think for a lot of us, we are in season two. But let me know what season are you in, especially if um, drop a comment. And, you know, if you're on the audio podcast, you could always come over to uh, YouTube or actually leave a review. It's been a minute, maybe if you have not reviewed the Think Media podcast, it would mean the world. But are you in season one? It's about quantity and skills and just practicing and finding your voice. Are you in season two? You're like, this is hitting strong, Sean. I need to focus a little bit more on higher quality. And then eventually I'll get to quantity. And then, you know, this was partly inspired. Uh, we'll link this up in the show notes by a book called 10X is Easier Than 2X. I'm actually only halfway through it. I would encourage you to only pick this book up if you're willing to get uncomfortable. This book actually more than any other book has made me, I've loved it, but it also like, I'm like, Ew, it's kind of tough. Like it's, it, it really is a mindset shifter. And uh, Benjamin uh, Hardy, Dr. Benjamin Hardy goes into the science behind the power of less is more. Doing less at a higher quality is more effective than just trying to grind and just get incremental gains. And that's where a lot of people get stuck in YouTube. It's such a relevant YouTube book because where we get stuck is we're like, let me just post another short. Let me increase the volume. Let me just post more videos and then let me go live. Let me do more videos and more live streams and let me just do more. And then I feel the pressure of being on every platform and I'm supposed to build an email list and I'm writing six books and I'm developing 10 online courses and let me just do more. And that is a path to burnout. You might be in the season where you're developing your skills, but taking a step up to quality will help you go further faster. And by the way, if you haven't registered for growthvideolive.com, we have Dave Ramsey speaking, Shalene Johnson, Pat Flynn, a couple other speakers in the works, and uh, the Think Media team. We have our uh, lead Think Media coach, Brian, leading some really powerful, specific sessions all about YouTube tactics with some awesome guests from our community that are flying in. You're going to be learning from VRA students and from some of the crazy stories and the latest tactics like what's working now on youtube and what are some of the big higher level strategies but also the specific tactics what are the trends that we need to know about and then i think most of all this event won't be streamed so how do we uh get in person for human connection to create strategic relationships and friendships with the networking experiences that we're going to create in las vegas at the m hotel so it's happening in April, April 24th through the 26th. Growwithvideolive.com is where you can get tickets and uh, fly in. It's going to be amazing. And if you're ready to kind of 
get smarter, retool your strategy. Maybe you need a fresh breath of encouragement and you just need to be around the right people uh, and get your vision back, your motivation back, your focus back. Maybe you're looking for some fresh strategies. Maybe you're looking for the chance to connect with myself and get to shake your hand and uh, maybe the chance to you know, hang out with Dave Ramsey, get a picture with Dave Ramsey at our platinum level tickets. Um, and he's doing a fireside chat. He's doing a keynote session. Um, man, it's gonna be such a powerful session. By the way, people were like, why Dave Ramsey? Like, is this a personal finance conference? He's a media mogul. He's probably the number one person we could all learn from, whether you agree with him or not, in terms of how do I, as an educator, as an expert, as someone who wants to change lives, as someone who wants to inform and even edutainment, entertain and educate multiple best-selling author multiple media platforms radio youtube number one personal finance youtuber i mean tw over 20 million views on like his main channel a month like so he's a media mogul and then how do you how did he do it when he was just selling financial peace university like out of the trunk of his car which was his education program to help people get out of debt how do you do it when you're in the startup season but then also how do you scale i mean talk about it's like a thousand people how do you also scale your brand when you're a personal brand, Dave Ramsey, how do you scale and start building up even maybe more of a media brand, Ken Coleman, George Camel, Rachel Cruz? How do you do that? So what an awesome honor to have Dave Ramsey plus Pat Flynn, Shalene Johnson, the Think Media team, our other speakers. And so anyways, growwithvideolive.com is going to be amazing. And uh, I encourage you to go to the show notes. You can check out the link to that. Uh, but Remember, competition is highest for low effort content. Posting fewer quality videos can lead to five to 10x more views overall. And I wanna challenge you, slow down a little bit and spend time making fewer videos better. Focus on quality for your next couple of uploads. And what if you went on a improve your quality three month focused content creation season? For the next 90 days, I wanna focus on quality. 20% better can lead to 10 times more views. And the difference between good and great is often just one round of revision. I'm gonna slow down a little bit and make my videos better, my thumbnails better, my titles better, my positioning better, my research and my investment in preparation for the videos better for the next 90 days. I think that'll serve you. And I can't wait to connect with you in a future episode. If you enjoyed this podcast and are ready for some deep dive YouTube strategy, just go to thinkmasterclass.com to get access to my one hour on demand YouTube strategy class. You'll be looking over my shoulder as I share my best tips and you can watch it on demand right now at thinkmasterclass.com.